Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to pass a function to another function as a parameter. Let's start from a very simple function. So I define a function called action1 and I pass 10 in. Let's define this as integer. And here, what I want to do is just simply print out the input parameter. Let's run this. And as you see, 10 is printed out. Obvious, right? If I want to define another action, I need to define another function. So suppose I wanted to just add 10 to the input parameter and print it out. So I define action 2, and now I call action 2. But how about I define a more generic function in the sense that I pass the action that I want to be executed into that function and then that function execute my action. So let's define another function call execute action and as a first parameter I'm defining a function. Here and I'm calling it action. And in the body of this function, I'm, a, I'm executing this function over the second parameter, which is i here. And now let's call this function. Execute action. And as a parameter, I'm passing it and 10. So let's execute this. And as you see here, 10 is printed out. Let's just refactor this out to make it more clear and then call it action one. Now it's more obvious. Now I have action one defined as a variable and this variable holds a function. Then I pass this function inside another function and this execute action executes this function over the second parameter. So in a similar way, I can define action 2 as a variable. And now I can say, OK, add 10. And now instead of action 1, I can pass action 2 in. And if I execute this, then I will get 20. So what we did here, we defined a new function. And this new function accepts another function as a parameter. And here we called this parameter action. And inside the body of execute action, we run this action function over the second parameter, which we called i here. 